Hey guys, today I have a new update for my Pin That Palette in Order. If you have been watching, we are pinning the Lorac Pro 3 palette. And for this project, I am starting at the very first shade, trying to hit pin on that one, and then moving on down the line. So I am trying to hit pin on them in the order of the way the palette's laid out. Now, my rules are that I can use all of the shades before it's their turn, but I don't want to hit pan on it until it's its turn to hit pan on. So, I am tracking usages, and let's get into it. So, here is what the palette has looked like so far. And this is what the palette is looking like today. We've been working on the shade Terracotta. So here's the palette. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? We hit pan on Terracotta. Yay! I'm so excited. I am, I mean, I'm not completely for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be like the last hard shade for me. And I feel like the rest of this palette is going to go reasonably quick. Um, so let's talk about the numbers. Um, previously, let's see, previously we have used the shade 5, 10, 15, 23 times. So last update we were at 23 uses on this one and we used it an additional 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 times to hit pan. So a total of 41 uses on this shade. To hit pan, there's a pretty good size pan and dip in there. And I was using this on the crease and also on the lower lash line um, most days. Pretty much every day I used one or the other, um, or both, but I used it at least somehow every day. And I think that's why there's a pretty big dip because I was using it on the lower lash line, so that's a smaller brush. Um, but I was using it on the crease a lot as well. So here's what my palette is looking like right now. I'll have a close up of this like towards the end. Um, but yeah, currently I'm starting to use um, canvas. Yeah, canvas again to set the lid. So I think for next update, that one will be like the size of this pan maybe. 
or maybe even gone. I don't know, but that's what I'm working on right now as a matte cream shade until I have another project update where I'm going to roll one in. Like if I roll... For now, this is what I'm working on to set my lids, but I'm not like completely committed to that one. So if I happen to roll in another matte cream shade, I'll focus on that one over this one. But anyway, this is what it's looking like. So now we are going to be working on dark brown, which is right here. And this is going to be like an eyeliner shade for me. Um, I'm really hoping that I'll be able to hit pan on dark brown and jet black for next update. Now I'm not quite sure because I am working on another eyeliner shade in my pan those eyeshadows. So that one I'm gonna keep using first until I hit the 30 uses and then I'll start working on this one. But for now, that is my plan. Here's that shade right there. I think it's too dark for me to wear for my eyebrows. I might try it at least once and see what it looks like, but I'm planning on using that as an eyeliner. And then here's jet black underneath, um, a very dark black. So that's my plan for right now. And I don't think I used any of the other shades. Nope, I didn't use any of the other shades this month. I was focused on a lot of different things. I have a lot of eyeshadows right now that I'm working on, but now we're gonna be working on the two liners. So I'm excited for things to come with this palette. Like I said, I think this can go pretty quickly now. I think these two will probably be rolled out together. And then we've got two inner corner shades, two eyelid shades, two like outer corner lower lash line shades, actually three, actually all four of these. Um, so yeah, I think we're getting close. <laughs> anyway, this is what the close up of the palette looks like right now. And that's gonna be everything. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys like this video and definitely like, comment, and subscribe down below for more. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.